Hi everyone, I'm Teng Weicai, a software engineer from Ant Group. Today, I will show how to build a high availability and scalability online application on Ray. It's based on my team's work of building an online computing platform called Ant Ray Serving. So let's begin. The story began a few years ago. Our colleagues of payment department met some problem. They maintained a platform that runs some device, some services to calculate strategies and indicators of payment channels. With the increasing number of payment institutions and data, the latency of task calculation was growing unacceptable. Their tasks were written in Java the logic is complex and the cost of rewriting is quite high. What we want is a low-cost solution for this problem. On the right side, it's the code of a simplified but typical task. After we look into their code, we found that a task usually has two or three levels. Each level's calculation code is split into smaller tasks and these tasks can be executed parallel. This is something we really, really good at, so we design a new system, new system to solve this problem. And of course, it's based on Ray. We think that we should keep RPC call as a trigger method because this is a latency-intensive scenario. Second, the code of the old platform should be easy to rewrite and run on Ray. Thanks to Ray's API, it's not very hard. And the last, the number of split tasks is different every time. We need to assign the tasks to a proper worker dynamically. So based on the above problems and analysis, the system we designed in the end Look, looks like this. So first, we will start a long running Ray cluster and start a long running actor in it. It's called the app master. This actor in charge of almost all the control panel work, like creating or destroying actors, saving the metadata, and the actor handlers in itself. When a user job is submitted, App Master will start some trigger actor to receive task requests from outside. The App Master will create a few worker actors too. These actors wait for a task to trigger user code execution. As our scenario requires low latency, use a long running actor to execute the task could save us much initial time. The dispatcher will route the new split tasks to the next level of executor with load balancing strategies. And it needs to pull the latest actor handler from APB master in order to invoke a recall to the target actor. Finally, the new system solved, solved our users' problems and they have moved all the tasks to the new platform. However, we found that there are quite a few similar online scenarios that can be solved on Ray, such as model serving. Ant Group's whole online machine learning system is built on Ray. The training model will continuously export a new model every 10 to 30 minutes. And we need to apply the latest model to serving as soon as possible. And we are also exploring the fast scenario. In front of serving, we use the key native eventing to transform event consumption to RPC call. For now, one user's function 
will only be executed in one actor. But we may be able to try some new distributed functions on Ray in the future. Online resource allocation tries to resolve high performance solutions with large scale linear programming problems. It uses several different computing patterns, including serving. Please check my colleague Fang Fenbin's talk, Application of Online Resource Allocation Based on Ray, for more details. After seeing so many serving scenarios, we will find a general serving framework is essential. To build such an online application, we found that following change first, how to achieve 99.9% .9 high availability. As we all know, Ray is a stateful system. Its maintenance is more complex than a stateless system. Ray does not support rolling upgrade yet, and the Ray head is still a single point failure. The second, upgrade the online instance fast without a break of the SLA. In our case, upgrade more than 50, more than 500 instances module can be finished in 10 minutes. The last, it must be easy to scale to fit the traffic changes very quickly. First, we introduce a new role called a serving keeper. Serving keeper have been positioned to support cross three cluster services from the beginning of its design, so as to meet the high reliability requirement of online service, such as Ray cluster disaster tolerance and loading updates. Therefore, outside the Ray cluster, a serving keeper application runs outside of the array. It proxy all serving client requests and create serving jobs in multiple Ray clusters according to the template configuration. After each serving job is started, it will first create an APB master actor and issue an RPC service to accept external control instructions and the re registry its own information to Serving Keeper. Serving Keeper will also distribute control commands of all users to the serv service to all application actors registered under the service. To support cross cluster serving jobs, we also need to support cross cluster service discovery. In the current architecture, the proxy is mainly responsible for pulling up the RPC framework. Registering with the service discovery component controlling the ingress traffic. After a user creates a service on Ray, it usually needs to be deployed in two to four and Ray clusters and present serving use, uses the cross data center service discovery component developed by Ant and Alibaba. Proxy of multiple reclusters is registered under one global service ID. When user use serving client to make a synchronized calls, provide load balancing strategies optimized based on deployment information, such as prefer such as uh, preferentially calling proxy in the same data center. Each APP master actor is responsible for managing all proxy and backend actors in the current read job. AP master has a state management model, which maintains a metadata configuration and the status of this serving job. When the key configuration and the information are changed, it is persisted to the outside state backend. And when the job is restarted, recovers the application state 
from outside data store using key information such as service and requesters. The detailed behavior of state management is listed on the right side. At present, at present thousands of upgrades happened in the reserving cluster in one day. Most of the upgrades finished in 5 to 10 minutes and won't affect our service SLA at all. The most important thing is to choosing a good upgrade, step size, and always remove, removing traffic before actually doing the upgrading. Supporting in place updates is helpful. It avoids recreating or rescheduling sector, made the upgrading procedures more stable and fast, and also validating before open the traffic is significant. Okay, now Ray is excellent at scaling, so scalability is no longer the most significant challenge when using Ray. However, we have done some work to enable our user to scale their service with our API. The real problem we are facing now is the auto scale feature. We can use a time series algorithm to analyze the predictable traffic. But when unforeseen traffic peak, peak comes, can we scale out fast enough to serve? We must know our cluster capacity very well and may need clear low priority actors for high priority ones. These are the areas we are still exploring. In conclusion, we introduce the cross cluster architecture, cross cluster service discovery, state persistent in place update, and so on to build our serving system a robust and a flexible platform. For now, it has a scale of over 20,000 CPU and over 3,000 KBS pods. We serve the more than five different larger scenarios in both Ant Group and Alibaba. In the future, we plan to speed up the online learning model updating five times faster and apply on auto scale strategies in most production scenarios. We will explore more complex scenarios like online distributed computing. And we are working with the NSCale Reserve team. We plan to support Java language in Reserve and build a pluggable component of many built-in functions to extend Reserve's power. Thank you for your listening. If you want to talk to me, you can write me an email or find me on this Slack channel. Besides, we are hiding, so don't hesitate if you are interested in our work. Thanks again. Bye.